Hello everyone, this is day six, Air on the Moon. Today's mission is to kind of explore what air is on the moon and then build a mini model showcasing how you might get it, store it, or use it on the moon. And then you can also build um, some WeDo models. There's one here on canvas. That's the alarm showing one way that astronauts might create a safety system if oxygen levels were dropping or maybe carbon dioxide levels were rising and it might alert them, hey, you're, uh, you're running out of air. So creating an alarm would be an important thing, uh, especially in a climate controlled system like a moon base or a rocket ship. So um, we're gonna talk about like what air is and everything, but I'm gonna come back to that. Uh, first, just so you know what we're gonna be doing today, like the things that you might be building, build a 16 by 60 mini model showcasing how you might get, store, or use air on the moon. Mine has, you know, some fans, some CO2 scrubbers. There might be some electrolysis going on here. They might be using these plants to suck out the carbon dioxide and convert it back into breathable oxygen. And so there's just a lot of different things going on in my mini model. Feel free to use this as inspiration when you're thinking about the model that you want to build. And then for uh, our we do build today, we're gonna build the alarm. This starts with the base model, which is the revolve model, and then adding on the alarm elements, including the um, tilt sensor, gyro sensor. I've got some building tutorials here. The first one is for building the base model. And then the second one is building the alarm attachment and programming it. And Here's my program that I used, and if you want to know more about how this works, go ahead and watch this building tutorial here and skip, a, skip ahead to where I'm talking about programming the alarm. So that's today's um, activities. Make sure that you share your design, take a picture, take a video. We really want to hear from you and see what you've been able to create. So now that you guys know what you're supposed to be doing, let's just talk about air really, really quick. You guys could read through a lot of this yourselves or have your parents help you. But air is basically a combination of oxygen and nitrogen and a little tiny bit of other gases. When humans breathe it in, we breathe in oxygen. And then our body, as that blood vessels go throughout our body, um, turns that oxygen into carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is not something that we're able to breathe and our lungs can't take the oxygen out of it. But on Earth, plants can. So plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen. They do the uh, opposite of what humans do. And so having plants is a great way to kind of get rid of the carbon dioxide that we're breathing out and turn it back into breathable oxygen. Another way that uh, humans might get rid of carbon dioxide, um, it, it doesn't convert it back into oxygen, but at least takes it out of the air so you're not breathing it, and those are CO2 scrubbers. And they use those on the Apollo missions and in the International Space Station. So we have these scrubbers that will take it out so that you don't die. So how do you get air? Uh, basically the best way and the way that um, NASA has been doing it with any human space missions that needed to replenish their oxygen, so the International Space Station, um, they're using a process called electrolysis and that electrolysis uses electricity and it separates the hydrogen and oxygen from one another in water and turns them into gas. So that's a great way to get oxygen. Another way might be crushing up moon rocks, but it's very inefficient. There's not a lot of air in moon rocks, but maybe as a last ditch effort, you could do that. Chances are with your moon base, you're gonna wanna be uh, collecting that lunar ice and then converting some of that water into breathable oxygen. Or having lots of plants that can purify the air in your moon base. So we store air in um, pressurized containers these are typically made out of steel or um, aluminum just because you're putting a whole bunch of gas and it's under a lot of pressure. Um, if you've ever uh, tried to capture a cloud, you know that's almost impossible. <laughs> and so uh, gas uh, doesn't like to be confined. So we need to uh, have these sealed tanks and then we pump the gas into these tanks. 
Um, on the International Space Station, here's the climate control system. So not only does this um, take the air from tanks and then pump it through the um, International Space Station, but it also filters out carbon dioxide and makes sure that the air is a, uh, a nice even temperature, that it doesn't get too hot or too cold. And so using air on the moon, uh, we mainly use it for breathing, but you might also need it for some experiments. You might need some air for plants. Maybe you brought some pets with you uh, to the moon, and, uh, but mostly we need air to stay alive. All right, so that's it for day six. I hope you have fun building your models and learning more about air on the moon. All right, have a great time. Don't forget to take pictures and share what you did with us.